okay, but what happened on October the 7th? So just even before you jump on that, your theological background, are you an atheist? It holds no kind of stance, are you a Christian, are you Jewish, like what's the... I believe in Jesus Christ. Okay, do you identify as Jewish or Christian? I believe that Jesus Christ is my Lord and Saviour. Okay, okay. Um, proceed, like what, what makes you think that it's not a clear-cut case? What, what has somebody like myself missed from this? Okay, are you aware of the League of Nations mandates of Palestine? There's a lot of these documents, but educate us. Are you aware of the Balfour Declaration and then the subsequent mandate of Palestine? We are, but obviously, make your point, make your argument. And the year is 2024, not 1924. Yes? I'm waiting for you to finish. I don't want to cut you or anything. Because then... When you're making a point and then there's these questions, I'll jump in, then it'll become conflated, like, oh bro, you're supposed to let me finish. So I'll give you some time to set the scene and then we'll proceed from there. So the issue you're talking about on your channel is the issue of the territory which is now known as Israel and the Occupied Territories, which is the official UN language, is that before that it was part of the Ottoman Empire and the whole region was known as Syria Palestine. And I understand that in any situation people will sometimes become displaced, but that in during the Ottoman towards the end of the Ottoman Empire, the Zionist movement started to purchase land in the land known as Israel and bought the land. And that then after the First World War which was predominantly a European war, the winning powers created the League of Nations, and so that created the mandate for Palestine. I'm only talking historical fact, uh, fact to you, sir. I'm not saying that people have suffered, haven't suffered, people do suffer. The Germans suffered terribly at the end of the Second World War. You don't hear a lot about that. You also hear that the reason why there was a Second World War because the Germans couldn't accept the Treaty of Versailles. Well, the international community at the time had the mandate for Palestine. Okay. Do you believe, coming back to the current era, because if we go into history, of course, it's history according to whom? And, you know, if we get bogged down in history and there's mass murder taking place, of course, um, there's, a, there's a discrepancy in terms of the priority. Now, can you agree that what's going on now in Palestine is tragic, it's, it's unfair, it's abhorrent, and Israel needs to pay for its war crimes uh, internationally? Yeah. Can you please give an example of, the, of a war crime committed by the IDF? A war crime committed by the IDF was the killing of the, uh, the, Jab the Jabalia refugee camp where a hundred Palestinians were killed just to search for one Hamas. Uh, the international communities um, obviously uh, said that this is a, it's a crime, it's wrong. Israel didn't really give any intent, any justification other than, oh, there's, there was one Hamas there and um, yeah. I don't know about that case. How can you just... I can give you another case then towards the... Yes, um, yeah, I'm listening to you. I said that yeah. Right. So there's a uh, apartment, I think six-story apartment block that I think it was on October 30th that was um, bombed and many people passed away, half of them being children. Again, Israel gave no reason, no justification and it was just brushed under the carpet. Can I answer that one? Yeah, of course. Okay, the BBC has been criticised heavily for being um, anti-Israel. There's been a report from that. But the BBC itself said of a case where a phone caller from the IDF had identified the tower block as a military target. And there are many cases of Hamas putting their military operations inside schools and hospitals. Now, in a situation of war, and I believe it is a situation of war, if you go firing rockets from a school or a hospital, you make that a military target. Now, if you read the BBC, 
which people accuse of bias all along. The IDF, Do you accuse them of being biased? Yes, I think sometimes they, they are very, very biased against Israel. And the IDF, the IDF representative spoke in Arabic to the person who managed the building and said, look, we've identified this as a military target, but gave them a chance to evacuate. Yeah? I'm just, also, I'm just pulling out the, uh, if we're talking about the same one, but I'm listening. No, I mean, you, you, you can, because the thing is, yeah. is that how can you justify, there are practically more tunnels under the territory of Gaza than there are under Manhattan. And Manhattan's got a well-established network of tunnels. And those tunnels were, were devised to attack Israel. There needs to be peace between between the Arabs and the Israelis. There needs to be peace. Okay. So with regards, Absolutely there needs to be peace. So with regards to the six-story apartment block, there's actually nothing on the record of Israel, according to Human Rights Watch, saying this was the reason why we did it, this was the target that we're looking for. Pertaining the, uh, and that's why it's uh, it's part of the war crime. Um, yeah, wait, 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 if wait, I can just wait. finish the point, because I was listening to you for yeah. quite a while. Uh, and then when you're talking about the tunnels, whenever there's discussion of tunnels, it's made to seem as if the tunnels were began by Hamas and concocted and made solely by Hamas. And uh, hopefully you're an individual that has uh, some basic knowledge with regards to this. That's completely patently false. Because Israel has admitted, I mean, one such interaction was on CNN, which is a famous clip that went round of the reporter being actually caught off guard and saying, oh, so you're saying that you guys made tunnels before? And then he said, yes, we made tunnels before, but Hamas have expanded those tunnels. That was the second point. So this whole notion that, oh, because Hamas has tunnels, okay, it has tunnels, so, so that excuses the bombing of refugee camps, um, tent cities, like the um, Jabalia refugee camp, the, like Rafa, uh, does it excuse bombing? Just because Hamas is now hiding amongst the population of children, it, does that now make it okay? I think any human rights organization on the planet would not excuse and say that it's now okay for you to kill children just to get that Hamas individual. That's blind rage. And that is what constitutes as a war crime. Go ahead. Um, I have you have said that that is your account. If I am a soldier of Hamas, because they identify themselves as an organization... Is it okay if we move there, because he's, that just spoils the, the decor of the back? Yeah, if we yeah, move... Yeah. Just, yeah. With the explicit aim of destroying Israel, if I am a soldier, yeah, if I were ever called to fight for a cause, yeah, and I went into a school or hospital, that would make me a coward because that would be putting those women and children at risk. And so the, the wider issue is that Hamas could make peace at any time with Israel. They could release the hostages, not the sausages, <laughs> and they could make peace. But the thing is, my, my understanding is that Hamas does not want peace with Israel. Sinwa does not want peace with Israel. There needs to be peace in the Middle East. Do you think that the Israeli officials are looking for peace and have made that clear to the public and it's on record? I think, I think uh, Benjamin Netanyahu in his recent speech has made it quite clear that Israel wants peace. And by peace, Israel does not want its borders to be attacked. Israel does not want people going over its borders committing terrorist atrocities. Israel, Israel does not want rockets being fired into its territory. That is, that if you send a rocket into a territory, you are going to be causing destruction. And the thing is, if I listen to the speech of Benjamin Netanyahu, he is saying he wants peace with the Arab world. He is saying he wants peace in the region. That involves respecting Israel's borders. That involves making peace. And the thing is, is that there have been too many cases of wars in the Middle East. No one wants women and children killed. Nobody. Yeah, and the thing is, if you put if you put military installations in schools and hospitals, then there are going to be casualties in schools and hospitals. It's very very simple. Okay, so when saying that Israel wants peace, I beg to differ, because one such example of Israel clearly not wanting peace is when there was an option um, presented in the UNGA December 2022. There was a vote 
to turn the Middle East into a nuclear-free zone, and only one country was against it. Two guesses who that country was. <laughs> it was Israel. <laughs> it was Israel. <laughs> so, uh, when you take that into consideration, and post October the 7th, when you look at what Benjamin Netanyahu said, and his genocidal rhetoric by saying all Palestinians are responsible and then appealing to an Old Testament term called Amalek. And Bet's, uh, Bet Salem have said that anyone who's gone through the education system in Israel knows when Amalek is referred to, it means every man, woman and child. Anyone who goes through that system. And I've spoken to a number of people here and they've said, yes, Amalek, is appalling language, he shouldn't have used it, this and that, but that is genocidal language from 1 Samuel chapter 15 verse 2, which talks about killing babies. Now, when Netanyahu is saying all of Palestine is responsible, Neftali Bennett is saying we are fighting Nazis, not Hamas is this, not um, Netanyahu saying no Hamas is responsible, no. All of Palestinians are responsible. Daniel Hagari, who's the army spokesperson, he said, our goal is not precision, rather our goal is destruction. Now, when you have people saying stuff like this, do you think that that is, uh, that's non-genocidal rhetoric? I do not want to comment on that without going and researching it. On the surface of things. On, on the surface, if you go over a de facto border between the Gaza Strip and Israel and you go and murder women and children, then unfortunately there are going to be people who are going to suffer when that country defends itself. If you're going to fire, it is not okay in international law to fire rockets at Israel. That's not what I asked though. I know it's not what you asked, yeah? What I, I do not um, believe that Israel necessarily should be quoting something from Samuel, but I believe that Israel has the right to exist and that no matter what the plight has been, there needs to be peace within the region. And to answer your question about the nuclear Please. bomb, uh, Israel's policy on the nuclear issue is they've never confirmed or denied. But if I were such a small territory, I would want to have that option if they were ever attacked using that option. And one of the barriers to peace in the Middle East is the autocracy in Iran, where they are pursuing nuclear weapons. Nobody, everybody wants a world free of nuclear weapons, but we are all human beings, sir. We are all human beings. If this country did not have a nuclear deterrent, then other countries would seek to attack us with nuclear weapons. So I can say that as it is. I can, I can, I can find you sources that basically Hamas are putting their military operations in hospitals, in schools, and then they are finding those schools and hospitals attacked. Okay, so there's a number of things that you mentioned. You haven't really answered my points, which is, I've given you a number of quotes. What did you say about Amalek? I don't want to misrepresent you. What I he said about Amalek. I haven't said, I have not said anything. I, I, would, I, would, I would say... Is that not genocidal? That was say, my question. I would say that, I would say that any, any collective punishment is wrong. I would also say that the, during the Second World War, which was the last time this country was officially at war with another country, there was the bombing of Dresden, there was the Blitz in London, and... But you've given your stance, which is collective punishment is wrong. I have not said... I, 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 oh. I, I, I believe that if there was a... Um, because it's my turn to speak, I wanted to know your stance before I responded. I, I believe that Israel is in an extremely difficult situation. Is collective Gaza. punishment wrong? In most cases, yes. Then what, what are the... What are the cases in which collective punishment, where you're wiping out, where you intend to wipe everyone out, where that's justified? I think it would be an extremely rare case. But not in Palestine. 
the reason... Hey, they did better this time with Hezbollah. You know they what? I, I am, I'm actually having a conversation here. Maybe I just, I'm having a conversation. So, that's right, but they yeah, did better fine. with Hezbollah. So, so what? On, I just want to say, so, they yeah. did better what with I'm Hezbollah. Saying is that the targeted a terrorist, but are you going to acknowledge that? The fact that, that it's taking so long, I think that... It shouldn't take this long. Like there are women, there are children, there are elderly people, there are Christians. And there are Hamas fighters who have not surrendered. And of course there are Hamas fighters as well. So I'll ask you the question again. Is collective punishment okay in Palestine knowing this? I think the IDF has to be extremely careful in its operations. I'm not asking about them, I'm asking you. What do you think? I think collective punishment is in 99.9% .9 cases wrong. I'm asking about Palestine. Well, I don't consider that the territory was, it was known as Syria-Palestine before 1922. I'm not there asking needs, there about... Needs to be, there needs to be a wider question. There needs to be a wider solution in the region. Look, I've asked you a very simple question. Are you, are you, I mean, the thing is, is that you're, no, you're asking me a specific question. I'm, I'm, I'm you're asking... You're asking me a specific question. Yes, said, which I is said, if... I said to you... Ask, you can ask me that question. Ask me that question. In, in the World War, in the World War, there was a... I've asked a very simple question. In is collective cases, punishment... Collective punishment is justified. No. I'll give you an example. No, I've asked you, I will give you I've example. given you a specific point. I will give you an example. Is collective punishment allowed... Is no, collective right. punishment justified in Palestine? That was my question. Right, okay, I will give you an example. Can Israel because you're fighting with God. I'm having a conversation. It's Please, I'm, I'm it's like Is she with you? No, we are separate people. We know people, each other. Okay. We are separate, we're separate people, people. But I have, I just I have you promised you that, that we would have an all That's why I thought, yeah. Crime, that Israel cannot be beaten. Stop Amy, crying. Amy, the Bible I'm, says in Psalm 83 that Israel. The Bible says a lot of things. Yeah. It will, it will actually destroy all his enemies. The Bible also says, take the heads of infants and smash them on a rocks. A, 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 well, and that's Amy, what, that's what happened as a friend, prophecy. Can I have a, can I have a conversation a with my friend here? You, he's, a, he's not your friend. He's a son of Satan. No, you I, can't, you I can't, want to. I want to talk to him in the way that Paul talked to him. You can't deny the fact <laughs> that Israel is beating the asses of his family. He doesn't need your help. Them. I'm talking to you. But he I'm doesn't need your help. Stop being an apologist for Islamic terrorism, for Muslim people in the Middle East, that a minority who use the Quran I for terrorist purposes. Amy, you just you justified God. smashing the heads of infants on rocks. I'm not justifying anything. You I'm literally you just justified that. The Bible says that if you fight with Israel, all, you will have the threat of God against you. Amy, and this is what's going Amy, on with every country that's fighting Amy, they with spit Israel. on you in Israel. I'm not talking they about spit me. on Christians. I'm about what the Bible What's wrong says. with you? If you fight with Why are you Israel okay with Christians being spat at? I'm not talking about Christians. You came I'm over there about, last time, I'm talking and about they're saying that they are Islamic completely terrorism. separate from you. Uh, yeah, Islamic Jesus terrorism. Comes back, Jesus comes back, and he will fight. Look at read the Zechariah 10, and he will tell you. He will tell you that Israel will fight with the enemies. With the enemies of Israel, I'd, Jesus Christ I'd rather is have a conversation. And he will fight with the Islamic terrorists yeah. who fight in the I'd rather have a conversation with you, but if this continues... When she's finished, I will talk to well, she, I don't think she has an off button, to be honest. Well, you shouldn't come to you see. This is a place no, 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 of freedom no, no, of speech. You want to put your propaganda no, against I Israel. Amy, Amy, I'm actually, actually asking you, can I carry on with my conversation? Are you going to admit, are you going to admit, are you going to admit the fact that your Islamic you can't, country if this is, cannot beat Israel? Yeah. Are you going to admit that the Quran says Amy, to go and fight the enemy and fight the unbelievers? You can have your conversation, I can say what I want to speak as corner. Are you going to admit the Hamas is using the Hamas I've given you a chance as well, but I mean... Can I give you, can I give you an answer? To well, not if you Israel. can't even get your friend to be gonna, quiet. If, if somebody comes and if Ali starts interrupting me, I can that? ask Ali, look, respectfully, I want to finish this conversation and he would walk off. She's heckling, that's what she's doing. You Well, it's very difficult to finish the conversation when she's shouting in my ear. I will give you the answer. If she's shouting in my ear, I can't think straight. You can't because you can't. And I don't think the viewers will be able to pick up what you're saying. You if you want me, to, you if you want me to give her a time to finish her spiel, 30 seconds, 40 Israel. seconds, I can do that.
But then afterwards, I'd like to speak with you. If you can't control the situation, then I'd go. I'm going to leave in five her. minutes, but at the end of the day, at the end of the day, we are a speaker's corner. You will represent speaker. your propaganda against Israel. Right. But are you going to tweet? Are you going to face the fact that Israel Yeah, yeah, I'm getting a headache already. Especially when she's justifying in smashing years, infants' heads yeah, on rocks. Look at her, look at her. Eight years, eight years doesn't stop. Try to destroy Israel, and Israel won every single war. You cannot answer that. The Bible that you haven't read, that your Quran confirms, tells you that any country that fights with Israel, God will destroy them. Read Psalm 83. Read Psalm 83, it tells you that if you destroy the nation of Israel. Are you Israel, so desperate for my attention? I'm here to rebuke you. You come here because okay. you want to have your own. Do you want to have a debate then? Do it in camp. Do you want to have a debate then? Do you want to have a debate then? Do you want to have a debate then? I'm here to tell you. So you don't want to have a debate? We, you already run, you're packing up. There is no debate. You packed no, we up and you left. We were having a conversation. I'm moving now. Are you gonna do you want to have a debate? You already packed up. You lost the debate. Amy, you do you defend. want to have a debate or not? It's a very simple question. Up. It doesn't matter. We can unpack. You already can unpack. Do you want to have a you debate? You already packed up. We're done. You already packed up. So you don't up. have a debate? You packed up. You already lost the debate. There you go. So she doesn't even want to have a debate then. You already lost the debate. I actually... Yeah, and then we had a nice setup. I can't speak for her. I cannot speak for her. No, I'm now saying that, look, I'm engaging with her and saying, do you want to have a debate? Are you here? I've asked her using three different sentence structures and she's hell-bent on saying you've packed up. You come and you talk about Islam. Did you want to have a debate? My yes, Did no. you yes, want to no. have a are debate? I don't have yes, to arrange no. anything with you. Okay, you well, here? that's the. Are, are you, are you can't have a debate, that's the thing. How Israel dealt with I don't think up. you're. Is that a better than. I don't think you're punish. capable of having a debate. Are you answer my I don't question? think you're capable of having a debate. Are you answer my question? If it's in a debate setup, then yes. My question? If it's in a debate setup, then yes. Why, if you're why just going to speak at me, uh, no, with you, you I, you're incapable of having a conversation. I asked you a question. You're incapable of Answer having a conversation. Question. Answer my question. No. Why, why are you asking me to do a debate, Dan? You said... You're welcome you to said, say yes or no. You said... You're welcome right, to say yes or no. You said you condemn the collective punishment that IDF is doing. And I'm telling you, are you happy with the way the IDF, IDF dealt not with I I don't consent to this debate. That's fine, so why do you ask me? You see, you, I'm yeah. asking you a question because you can't answer. Your time is gone now. Your time is gone now. We're defeated in one strike with your time as little is gone casualty now. as possible. That offer, Are you happy with that? I have taken that offer back. Are you back. happy with that? I have taken that debate because offer back can, now. You can't answer that because you know the way they killed the Hezbollah leader was a success. Excuse me, I didn't mean to do it on purpose. Sorry. They did it. You know that. That's a better way to do it. Better they way to do what? Them to kill the terrorists. They what are you killed talking them about? Away. The way they blew up the, um, the speakers, whatever devices speakers? they were using. The devices what are you talking they about? Using, what devices were the they using? Devices they were using. What devices were they using? To speak pages. amongst themselves, pages, whatever they're yeah. called. You've the IDF, the IDF, right? They targeted the terrorists. So that's yeah. surely better. They, they've done it in a better and way. And the eight-year-old girl died as well. Was she a terrorist? Just like, just like the little girl. Was she a like terrorist? Just million Christians Was she a terrorist? In Africa Don't tell me about Islamic Africa, terrorism. woman. The eight-year-old girl that died. Are you right. justifying that? I'm not justifying that. Are you yes, justifying I certainly that hope 16 not. million Christians I certainly in hope Africa not. because of Islamic terrorism? Don't you terrorism. dare justify the Are killing of an eight-year-old woman. <laughs> Eight-year-old girl. Speak in public. Stop who had to spitting. Beg for money. Stop spitting. Speak Are you properly. That? You, you cannot justify, justify the killing of an eight-year-old girl, what and you can't. You can't justify the killing of a man in a grocery what about store. All the people you simply who died cannot as a justify. Of Islamic terrorism based you cannot on the justify. And the you cannot justify the killing of a person in a grocery store. Are you justifying that? Well, you're gone now. You're finished. It's game over now. Can you do on an eight, eight you, year old died you, when your friend was talking the about of a nine year old girl. Who when, because according to your according to Sayo Hadith, Muhammad was a Sayo was a Sayo Hadith. Married was a Sayo Hadith. Sahih Hadith. Did you not listen to me? No, you said Sayo Hadith. Sahih Hadith. No, I heard Sayo Hadith, and I'm asking you. I don't know what. 
Sorry, but no, no, what are you talking about? Five, I don't know one, what. Three, I don't know what. What are you Your talking about? Words, dude. You Look, know don't speak words? nonsense. Oh, I, so everyone, can, nonsense. everyone can. Everyone can. Your prophet's words Everyone are can quote things. Your prophet married everyone, and had sex everyone with Everyone can quote things so are you out okay of context. With everyone girl? can quote things out of context. It was marriage at six and sex at nine. Where, where's the rape allegation? Is it okay to have sex with your allegation? Would a nine-year-old girl have sex? Where's the rape allegation? Where's the rape allegation? Would you show your own daughter Show you evidence. Show you evidence. You guys are running away. Show you all evidence. No one's running away. We're not running away, boy. We're not running away. A little girl. Where is the evidence? Why are you so scared? Wait, wait. Why are you so scared about the Palestine topic that this lady was talking about? Why are you running away from the Palestine discussion? Amy, Amy why are you running away? Yeah, running you are running why away. Running why is he coming in? Why Why do you need his help? Why do you need his help? You need her help. Yeah, why is he helping you? Make your argument. Is it okay for the guy to be killed in a grocery store because of exploding pages? Why is she looking so sad? She's sad because of how ugly you are. Now let's get back to She's sad because of how ugly I am. Yeah, I mean, she's sad in a state Is that, is that according to the Bible? Here. Are you? Can Let's you? Be honest. Okay. Is that, so is that what Jesus Bible, teaches you to go and free call four. people ugly? Why is it your prophet? Is that what your Bible teaches you? Do you want to answer that? Why does your prophet teach you? Does your Bible teach you to go to people and call them ugly? Aren't we made in the image of God? You're not made in the image of God. You're made in the image of Satan because that's oh, your father. Oh, that's okay. your father, Satan. My father, father Satan. Satan. Yes. Oh, that's then father, what's going to happen to me then? What's going to happen to me then? What's going to happen to me then? The Bible going to be have that you have to be over the age of puberty, not What's under it. What's going to happen to me? Yes, according to 1 Corinthians chapter 7, verse 37. You speaking to him or me? I'm speaking to both of you. I'm asking you what's going to happen to me. What's going to happen to you? Yeah. According to the Bible, you go to hell. Oh, That's where you belong. Okay. For and according to the gospel. Okay. okay. As a Christian, do no, you no, believe no, that? Is, look, oh, very I'm simple question. Right. Do you believe Jesus is eternally generated even though he had from sex with the Father? Is Jesus eternally generated from You're the Father? You're talking about Trinitarian dogmatics. I'm talking about your Do you believe in the Trinity? You believe in the Trinity? You're talking about Trinitarian dogmatics. It's a, it's a sideway. That's nothing to do what I said. Dogmatics? Yes, Isn't that, that what you believe in, though? That's nothing to do with what I just it's said. It's got nothing to do with the belief. No. It's got nothing to do with what I just uh, what? what did I just say, Jesus? I want to know what about belief. About, I don't care about the oh, you nonsense, don't care about your prophet. nonsense okay. so we've got fabrications that, that you're said. talking about. He doesn't care about what he prophet thinks. I don't okay, care about the nonsense that so you're bringing. Do you agree bringing. that your prophet I want to talk about yours. doctrine. Do you, do you agree your prophet has sex Do you agree yours? Jesus said that is in the okay? Bible? Okay? Numbers 3118. Numbers 3118 isn't talking about sex. Oh, let me know. Keep the little ones for yourself. Show me where it says I'm Oh. Oh, show so you want the exact word? Show me that, bring it up. Oh, let's, bring it up. Let's, bring it up. Wait, show me the Hebrew. The I'll show you from Hebrew. Show me where it says that. Check, is that the Hebrew? The Hebrew say that is that in Hebrew? Is that, about? Is that in Hebrew? Show me that in Hebrew. It's not in Hebrew. Show me that it's in Hebrew. Greek. Read the Bible to me, me in Greek. Hebrew. Read the Bible in the Greek. Bible, the Read the Bible in Greek. The Jews Read the Bible in Greek. Are you going to shout at me? Read the Bible in Greek. Oh, so now you can't take my shouting. No, 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 you you come to me shouting, shouting, and suddenly you the can't take is, shouting. You can't take, that you can't take it. Read the Bible in Greek. Shan. Guys, you don't deal he has with the, the Bible. Fact. I'm allowing him. I'm allowing him to preach. If he tells me to read the Quran in Arabic, I will read the Quran in Arabic. However, I am telling him Muhammad to preach the gospel. Preach the gospel so in okay Greek. A man preach the gospel in Greek. Go. Preach the gospel. I don't need in to. Greek. I'm not a Muslim. You don't need to. I'm not a Muslim. So ask Jesus me to Christ read the Quran in Arabic. I can read the Quran God in his revealed language. language of Arabic. They believe Jesus Your has God been eternally Arabic. generated okay. from the Father. The Do you believe you in believe the eternal generation the doctrine? That Muhammad Do you slept believe with a nine -year -old. it? Oh, that he slept with this and this happened. Oh, look, okay. look, look, okay. look. It's Behave okay. yourself. It's Behave okay. yourself. It's Let's okay. be adults. Muslim, Let's be yourself. adults. I can come adult. to you. Oh, girl. smash infants on rocks. It says it in your Bible. Woman, you Is it okay to smash girl. infants' head on rocks? Is it okay to smash the heads of infants on rocks? Is it okay to kill them and to smash them?
It's okay to so What's worse? What's worse? Smashing the heads on rocks scared. or having sex? So Zishan, what's, of changing the what's worse? Killing and smashing with having or sex with a child sex. as your prophet Which did. is worse okay. according to you? We could talk about the you Bible can't answer. Day, but you're you don't want to answer. From the topic of the you will never Quran, answer. You, hate your yes, you can't you answer. You cannot answer. You can't read your own Bible in Greek. You can not that you believe defend in. You know your I mean? Bible. You're scared your of Bible tells you to kill babies so and infants. He's scared, he's and now, oh, you had sex with I a nine-year-old. Do you defend the killing of children, one, of three, babies? First Samuel chapter so, 15, verse 2, answer, verse 3. Go, defend your Bible. Go, go, come on. You can take First sex Samuel, sure come on! Verse 24 of the Quran. You are a clown. Okay. Not a clown. What? You two are. No, How many people do you two bring to Christianity the way you two Many, behave? trust me. Really? But I don't bring really? anyone to Christianity. Jesus really? Does. Really? Yes, really. I've seen no one here come to Christianity. I'm not talking about here, bro. That's a very good point. That's a very good point. No one. I'm an evangelist. Here no is not my only evangelist. You, you guys are with. Zishan, do you want to deal with the question or not? Do you want to deal with my question? Do you want to deal with my question? My question, question. Or am I might just had to be interrogated by you, one, oh, 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 and I asked me multiple Jesus, questions. Jesus, 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 I responded. I will respond. Okay. And it's easy. However, you if you're about, gonna come and you're gonna interrupt I'll discussion, I'll I'll discussion. Old, right? we can have calm discussion. Right? Right? discussion. Yeah, we can. Right? 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 But I want to start with doctrine okay, because doctrine is more important. I want to ask this question. Do you accept all of the hadith? I believe it. Do we accept all of it? There's no criteria in which you say all of the hadith is sahih according to every single scholar. Said, so according to all the sahih hadith. I'm responding. You said you're calm. You said you're going to listen to me. And I'm responding to you. You said that all the hadith are sahih. We'll see when Jesus comes back. What I, said. I haven't finished my answer. How can I be accused of misinterpreting if I haven't even responded yet? You asked if I had said that all hadith are sahih. At least let me finish and then tell me if I'm right or wrong. Do you accept sahih I think you're incapable. Do you want to ask you, you asked me to answer, I was answering, but yet you cut me in the middle and you're telling me. You're not interested in the answer. You're not interested. I'm literally answering. No, you're not interested. I was giving you the answer. But why did you interrupt me in the middle of the answer? Can you, can you so answer, I'm answer. telling you, so I'm telling you, not every scholar will accept every hadith that sahih as sahih. So for you to say, oh, do you accept all of the sahih hadith? Some hadith will be characterized as sahih, but other scholars won't accept it as sahih. You're aware of that, isn't it? What scholars, what aqidah do you affirm? That's got nothing to do with aqidah, whether you accept the hadith as sahih or not. This is. Frankly, frankly, Sufi, frankly, I'm speaking to somebody who can't tell well, the difference between the fiqh difference and hadith. Hanbali What's and the difference Sufi? between fiqh and hadith gradations? What, what, Go. Well, schools of teaching or schools of fiqh are gradations of half a That's, that's and hadith. pathetic. Okay. Yeah, how long have you been coming to Speaker's Corner? How long have you been coming to Speaker's Corner? I'm alive. How long have you been coming to Speaker's Corner? You don't know the difference between fiqh and hadith. You don't know the difference between fiqh and hadith. First, so learn the difference. The First, learn the difference the between fiqh and hadith, okay. and then we can have a conversation. Point, you if you can tell me the difference, if you can learn the difference between fiqh and hadith, then we can have. You're asking me questions. You're asking me questions. You're asking me questions, but the answer, but the answer, you don't understand. You don't understand the answer. 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 How can I deal with Trinitarian dogmas when you're coming with, oh, your prophet married a nine-year-old? What do you, no, you didn't want to talk about it. And then you asked me a question, you told me to calm down. You told me, like you brought up, let's talk about You told me, look, I listen to you. You told me, look, I listen to you. Why you want to do the Let's talk about Trinitarian. I'm trying to respond to you. Okay, so ask the question you asked earlier 
about to the No, I'll ask you whatever I want. So you're just going to ask me anything? Yes. Well, you're really scared. You're really scared. So I have to ask you So I have to So I have to ask you. You might want to calm down. So I have to ask you. You're really scared. What you want me to ask you? Is this is this the first time we're having a conversation? Shivering in my boots. You, your first question. You're scared, boy. Look at you. You're scared, little son. Oh. No, 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 wait, wait, wait. This, ladies and gentlemen, this is the... Wait, 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 wait. This is the fake Muhammad Hijab wannabe. The only way... The only way... The only way Muhammad Hijab wannabe. Why are you copying Muhammad Hijab? Why are you copying Muhammad Hijab? Why do you... Why are you copying Muhammad Hijab? Why are you copying Why are you copying Muhammad Hijab? That's so cringe. You're cringe. <laughs> you're cringe. Well, you're, cringe. you're pathetic. You're, you're, you're a joker. You're, a you're pathetic. You're Why are you copying Mohammed Hijab? Create your own persona. Why you can? Why you? <laughs> That's a joke, bro. It's cringe. Defend your, defend your doctrine. William Lane Craig compared Trinity to a three-headed dog, and you had. <laughs> what the hell is this? You're a joker. You're a clown. Who said I was William Lane Craig? You know when you're when you're copying Mohammed Hijab, when you have. To copy a Muslim, you're pathetic. You guys, you guys have nothing. You guys have nothing. You have nothing. You have nothing. Oh, you're shivering by. Oh, look at me. Oh, copying Muhammad Hijab. Christians have nothing. Even when they're trying to be ironic, even when they're trying to be clever, they're copying our people. This is what it is. How many followers do you have? How many followers do you have? You've been coming to yeah, Speaker's Corner. Kinky, How many? I'm not going to lie. I'm not going to lie. I don't do bro. that kinky stuff. Bro. Bro. I'm straight. i got bro, a wife. Listen. I don't know about bro, you, bro. Let, Who's your let, wife? Let Amy. Because they look Is Amy your wife? Let them say. Actually, no, no, no. He doesn't want to talk Is Amy your wife? Is Amy your wife? That's none of your business. What do you want to know about my wife? Then why are you telling me you're married? Why are you telling me you're married then? Give me your wife's number. Give it to her? Exactly. Is this what you're telling me your wife's number? Is this what your Bible teaches you? Is this what your Quran teaches you? Is this what you, No, my Quran doesn't Quran teach me that. So I can my Quran sex does not teach me to ask for the numbers of said, people's oh, lives. Oh, you disgusting oh, human being. You sick human being. You're a disgrace to Christianity. Christians, you are free from this joker and a clown. This Muhammad Hijab wannabe. He's what a joker! Yes, you're finished, boy. You're finished, boy. <laughs> <laughs> on the, on the side, he's gonna, yeah. They're trying to. They're no, trying to. Yeah. Oh, it's trying to illegal. copy Muhammad Hijab. Nine-year-old is rape. It's called. It's literally rape. rape. But they don't want to answer the rape yeah, in their Quran right. and their Hadith because, because, because they have a demonic doctrine of devils. They devils. Don't. Why would you have? He sex didn't want to. He didn't want to debate doctrine. He's running away. Right. When we debate what with somebody, we talk about, about God. Girl. They jump, oh, sex with Why nine year old right? girl. I asked him one question. Would you be okay if I'm in sex with a nine year old girl? I asked him about 1 Samuel chapter 15, verse 3. Where's Abdul Karim? He's so tough, man. Tough, man. Right. Look at him. I asked him. Right. 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 I asked him. Right. Right. I asked him. Right. 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 Babies. Then I give him another reference. I give him another. He doesn't want to talk about that. What does he want to talk about? Having sex with little kids. Yeah, that's what he wants to talk about. Guys, pathetic. He's running away from basic Bible verses. Basic Bible verses. Trying to copy Muhammad Hijab. He has no personality of his own. He has no personality. Of his own. Wait, wait, wait. I love oh. predestined murder. Have your own personality. I love predestined Why are you murder copying Muhammad Hijab? I've got a better personality than you. <laughs> Why are you I'm copying Muhammad, Muhammad Hijab? In fact, Muhammad Hijab. Why is are you copying so Muhammad really Hijab? <laughs> so <laughs> cringe. <laughs> I smashed you in a debate. Oh, yeah. Hundred thousand people saw it. Go back home. Go back home. You shouldn't. You shouldn't have left your mum's basement. Yeah, hundred thousand views. You got battered in front of everybody. You want to run too? Then get in the queue. Amy came. Amy came. She ran away. She needed help from her boyfriend. Yeah, the boyfriend came. Now the boyfriend's boyfriend needs help now. 
okay. Oh, now Amy Come has to come back. Jews. Come back. You're you know, like the one, you know, like the one pound fish so guy says, okay Come on, ladies. Come on, okay ladies. Come on, ladies. Come on, ladies. Come on, ladies. Come on, ladies. One pound no. fish. Okay. Have, have a look. One pound so fish. They're scared. They're scared. What do you mean scared? She needed you to back her up. She, didn't need she needed you to back her up. And then you need him to back you up. You're scared. Mama did your puppies. You're scared. Stop projecting on me. Stop projecting. Stop projecting. Stop projecting. Stop projecting, you weakling! Stop projecting! You Stop projecting, asking for my wife's name. number. You, are so you wife's sicko. Name. You are so yeah, I asked for your wife's name. name. Exactly. Therefore, you can ask know my nothing. wife's number. How stupid are you? You are equating a wife's you. name you with a wife's know. number? Oh, you think a wife's name is equated with a wife's number? Hello. Yes, yes, hello. So here's what happens. I ask his wife's name, and then he he goes, let me ask your wife's number. And he says, oh, because I asked, because you asked me your wife's name. Then with this Muhammad hijab territory, oh, you want to be more famous? You got smashed. Sorry. You got smashed once already. Get in the line. Get in the queue. We're in England. Yeah, get in the queue. Don't worry. Don't worry. There's plenty of me to go around. There's plenty of me, but there's plenty of me to go around. He's getting angry. 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 Why is your boyfriend Give asking for the wife's number? Of course he's tough. Hey, Look at the size of him. Look at the size of him. Yeah, he is tough. Of course he's tough. Of course he is. Do you want to bring Amy back? Or you guys, are you guys just going to side her out? Is this what the Bible teaches? When the Bible it says women aren't allowed to talk. Yeah, or shave the head of the women. Is Amy wearing a wig? Is she wearing a wig? Can we talk about how tough he is? I want to talk Get in the queue. Get in the queue. You got smashed. You got battered. Oh, you want to come back in now? Yeah. Yeah, we got smashed before. Oh, could I have your wife's number? Uh, because you asked for my wife's name. Uh, is that Christian logic? Is that your Christian logic? You're prophetic. You're a joker. Oh, I'm scared. Uh, like why am I standing here? How do you think I'm running if I'm standing right here? How do you think I'm running? How do you think I'm running when I'm standing here, boy? I'm still here. I'm still here. And I will be here, inshallah. I will remain here, inshallah. You know what I mean? Okay. So are you scared? You guys have nothing. I'm so tired. Are you scared? You're so tired. You're so tired. You don't want to. You're not worthy. You're not worthy. I gave you a chance. I gave you a chance. I gave you a chance. You squandered the chance. You squandered the chance. Yeah, you could have got more subscribers on your unknown channel. You would have got more subscribers on your unknown dead channel. You've been coming to Speaker's Corner. You don't know the difference between Akida and Fiqh. You can't defend 1 Samuel chapter 15 verse 3. You have nothing. 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 You have nothing.
You have nothing. You have nothing. After three. One, two, three. Allahu Akbar. 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 That's it. That's it. That's it. Very simple. Very simple. What's going on, bro? I'm doing it. I'm doing it. I'm doing it. Where's the bottle of water? Oh, you got my bottle of water, yeah? What's the conclusion? Conclusion is Christians have nothing to offer. That's the conclusion. <laughs> That's, that's the conclusion. <laughs> they, Why we should not engage because the conversation, they will be finished like this. No, you know, this is the only way they engage. There was somebody on the side, there was somebody there who we were having a good conversation with. But what he was doing was he allowed a heckler to come in. Thereafter, when the heckler came in, then the others came in. And then the gentleman no, is here as well. Yeah. And you've so, not been able to defend so, your own religion. So I'll say this now. You can say what that you say we started you like. I will, I will, we started this conversation and, and there was an a it you. was a polite conversation. Well, got an then you. he allowed Amy, he allowed Amy to come in, disrupt the conversation, and he stood on the side like a chump. Yeah, oh I can't control this, I can't do this. Then, then yeah. Then, then it was. Then Amy came in. Then Amy came in. Then Amy brought Captain Bloodfire in. Then Captain Bloodfire brought another guy in. Yeah. So he was the wedge that kept the door open. He had nothing. When he, when our discussion, when he was, I asked him, "Can you justify collective punishment in Palestine?" He started thinking. Oh. Ah, he, who, me, in my naivety, in my naivety, I allowed him, I'm yeah, to speak, he said he's naive. yeah, then Amy came in, oh, sorry, I can't control her, yeah, it oh, is, it is Speaker's Corner, and you know what, oh, you know what, I know her, and this, and then her boyfriend came in, then his boyfriend came in, then it turned into a circus, now that they've gone, now he's turned back I'll up still, again. Yeah, he is now turned back up again after speak. disrupting a very good conversation. It. But he was an ins insincere individual. Yeah, and those those individuals, we haven't entertained them, and we don't entertain them because they have nothing. They have nothing to offer. We want to speak doctrine. They come with insults. You give me one Muslim that comes to speaker's corner. You give me one Muslim that comes to Speaker's Corner, that Muslim that insults Jesus, that insults Jesus. You tell me one Muslim that has insulted Jesus in Speaker's Corner. Now if I ask you, which Christian insults the Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him? So many of them, so many of them. If you want to speak doctrine, I believe Jesus, I believe in Jesus, let's speak about the filioque doctrine. Let's speak about the eternal genera uh, generation doctrine. Yeah, let's speak about the canon. Yeah, the New Testament canon. Don't come up to me with these dead arguments that you already know the answer to that have been spoken again and again just to get clicks and views. I'm bored of this. I'm bored of this. If you want to have a good conversation, we can on doctrine. You want to be a coward, you can't tell I'm your own coward. friend. I'm, I'm not you coward. can't I'm even tell your friend to shut I'm up. You can't tell your own friend to shut coward. up when she's, when she's disrupting. You're so much of a simp that you can't oh, even tell her to I be quiet. Her, then you know what? I'm not, oh, I'm not interested. I'm not interested in such a weak wrong. man like you that you can't even, that you're coming here and telling me, oh, Israel. Oh, so I ask you, collective punishment. Is collective punishment okay on Palestinians? He goes, oh, 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 you know what? Maybe in some situations, you know what? People like that, people like that, their IQ minus levels, minus levels, yeah, not positives, 
maybe minus two, minus three. Maybe there's a marble rolling around in the head. That's the only thing that it could be. Yeah, and that was one example where they managed to squirm their way in. But like I always say, you want to speak doctrine, we speak. You want to speak Bible, we speak. We will speak, the sun will go down, the moon will come up. We will speak, we will speak until Allah wills. But if you come here, oh, this is a prophet, marry a nine-year-old, shut up. Shut your mouth. Yeah, come, come correct. Numbers 31, 18, I could do the same to you. But it's weak, it's pathetic, it's low. Yeah, he's on the sideline like a sideman, they're waffling on the side. Yeah, that's all these people could do. And that's the reality, guys. You want to speak about the Bible canon? Marhaba! I'm ready. If you don't, then shut your mouth with all due respect. Where's my water? Jazakallah, bro. Yeah, bro.